Hello Year 8, welcome to your second assessment. Uh, remember the first was on witches uh, way back in the September term. The second assessment is based on work we've done over the last couple of lessons. It's a very straightforward question. It's explain why World War I broke out in 1914. You don't have your A4 assessment books, so you can do this in your smaller book. So the first thing I need you to do now is just pause the video and copy the question. Explain why World War One broke out in 1914. So just pause the video for a moment. Right. Before we look at how to put this question together, we're going to discuss the success criteria, how you'll do well on this question. So the success criteria is straightforward. It's going to be marked out of 12. And to get the highest marks, you've got to produce three times peel. That means three peel paragraphs. Remember, a peel paragraph is where you start with a clear point, you provide evidence and explanation, and then at the end of the paragraph, you link back to the question. And obviously, our three peel paragraphs need to cover the long term causes of the war, the medium term causes of the war and finally the short term cause of the war and if you look at the little marking grid that's been simplified for you uh, if you want to get between 10 11 and 12 out of 12 which is a really good mark on this assessment you do need to do the free peel you need really clear points to start really solid links back to the question and you need to put as much own knowledge as you can into every paragraph and as full an explanation as you can provide. So that's the introduction to this. This is how you're going to get full marks. So the next slide will be how the peel paragraphs can be put together. OK, so we're going to start with some help. We're going to look at the first paragraph you're going to look at which is the long term causes and remember we've already planned this so this is an open book assessment you don't need to learn any of this material so it might be handy to have your mind map from last lesson to hand either photograph it with your ipad or flick back and forward in your book so paragraph one you need to start with a clear point so look at my example I might start with the point, the main long-term causes of the war were nationalism, militarism, imperialism, and alliances. So I've made the point, I now need to provide evidence and explanation to develop why these things were important in starting World War I. So if you look at my examples, I could start with nationalism was the belief that then I could provide my evidence of what I understand about nationalism and what it is. I could then provide my explanation. This made war more likely because, so I could explain how nationalism was a factor in causing conflict. Once I've done nationalism, I could start militarism was there. And again, I could explore with my evidence and own knowledge what exactly militarism was and then I could provide an explanation in the next sentence I could begin this increase the possibility of war because and that would be my explanation as to how militarism made war more likely or more possible I could then do imperialism I could use my evidence to explain what that is or was and then again, I could add my explanation as to why that would make war more possible. And then finally, I could use my evidence about alliances, explaining who was allied to who, and then explaining the concept of alliances and how they're dangerous, because obviously a conflict between a country in an alliance and a country in another alliance a conflict between two countries can drag in many more countries. And then obviously I can link back. Therefore, 
the long-term causes of the war were the tensions and problems created by nationalism, militarism, imperialism, and alliances. And that, if I used my mind map and provided as much evidence and explanation as I could, would be a model first paragraph. So you can use that approach in your first paragraph. So what I suggest you do now is write that first paragraph using my starter sentences, perhaps certainly using my advice. You've probably got about 15 minutes to write this paragraph. I would pause the video now. Okay, well done. Hopefully you've got a really good first paragraph that explores the long-term causes of World War I now. So we need to move to the second paragraph. This is where you're going to explore the medium-term causes of World War I. And again, a little bit like the first paragraph, I've got some advice on the screen for you. So remember, it is Peel again. So you need to start with a clear point. Look at my example. My point would be the outbreak of war was also due to the rivalry and hatred that existed between the main countries in Europe before 1914. And then again, using my mind map, I need to explain why Germany and France had such huge problems, why Germany and England had tensions and problems, and why Austria and Russia had tensions and problems. And then obviously, I can link back and tie up my explanation, linking it to the question. So again, pause the video and see if you can have a go at creating your own Peel paragraph based on the short, sorry, the medium term causes of war. Okay, you should have spent perhaps about 10 minutes on paragraph two, so you should now be on paragraph three, the final paragraph. This is where you explain the immediate cause of the war. And again, you'll use your mind map to help you. But what you can see here is where I've given you the first opening point. So I've put, finally, the slide to war was triggered by the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Now I need to use my mind map, my own knowledge, my explanation to explain how this event led to a war between all the major countries in Europe, how it ignited the tensions that had always been there, the tensions you've explored in paragraphs one and two. And then obviously at the end, you need to link back. So you should aim to spend about 10 to 15 minutes on this paragraph. And once that's complete, you've done your assessment and you should have created three Peel paragraphs explaining the long, medium and short term causes of World War I. When you're done, photograph your work and upload it on Firefly. Thank you, Year 8.